Hey everyone, we're here to go ahead and install some RAM in this motherboard. One of the first things you want to do is make sure you have these connectors pulled back. Um, this will be how we attach the RAM into the motherboard to secure it. Just make sure both sides are pulled open if you have these connectors on both sides. Some motherboards only have the one connector. You can see there's a kind of a bridge separation in the middle of the RAM slot on the motherboard. That will correlate to the opening on the RAM itself. You want to make sure you're putting this in the correct direction. In this particular case, that means that the uh, Fury HyperX portion is going to be facing outwards. We're going to put in both sides of the RAM. We're going to take it and we're going to press it down evenly on both sides. Now, if you may have one side go in before the other, that's totally fine. But one thing you want to make sure happens is that these connectors, like this one right here on this side, push into the open slot on the side of the RAM. Uh, that'll mean that you've got a secure connection and that is put into the motherboard. If you don't have that, you may get some errors upon startup. So we're going to do the same thing with the second slot here. We're going to take it, slide it down nice and even, take our thumbs and press down evenly on both sides. You can kind of wiggle it a little bit. It does take some force to get the RAM into the slot. Take these two connectors and push them into the slot itself. It's not extremely difficult, but it can be a little daunting the first time you do it. You're always afraid that you might break your motherboard. Uh, don't be afraid to give it a little bit of force. Now, if you're looking to remove it, what really all you have to do is take these two tabs and pull it back. You'll see that the RAM is actually ejected out of the slots. It's pretty simple to remove. That is installing RAM into a motherboard. If you have questions about this video or about the RAM itself, feel free to go ahead and throw them down in the comments. I do my best to answer them for you. If you want to check out any more videos, will be in the description for this build. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.